In this Google Apps screencast, I'm going to show you how to make charts in Google Spreadsheets. So here I am in a Google Spreadsheet. I created a form that I sent out to some respondents just to get some survey data. So I asked a question and I had them choose different choices. So this first question was all about how many hours a week do you spend on the computer? Second question was if you could travel to one of the following time periods, which would you choose? So all that data comes to a spreadsheet. Now to look at this visually, it's a good idea to make a chart. In order to make a chart, you have to put a little table together of your different responses. So this is how you do that. So let's just do the computer number of hours a week on the computer uh, data. So I'm going to start here and just say computer hours and responses. I'm going to make two columns. This is going to be the choices that the respondents had and this is how many people responded. In order for this all to work, whatever the choices were that you gave on your form, the zero to two hours, that has to be typed exactly here. And you'll see why here in a second. So I'm actually going to copy and paste from over here. So I'm going to copy, paste. So I had zero to two hours was a choice. Two to five hours was a choice. And you could type this if you wanted to, but if you accidentally capitalize something where it was lowercase or vice versa, or if you put any extra spaces in, or if you type something incorrectly, the way that this the that the formulas work won't work. So there's my choices. Oh, did I get the last one? Copy. There we go. Did come in. Okay. So the next part of this is rather than sit here and count all this up, because I have a lot of data, I want to use a formula. If you're familiar with Excel, formulas work the same here in Google Spreadsheets. Your formulas have to start with an equal sign. The specific formula I'm going to use is the count if formula. And you can see as I type that, that there are different count formulas. I'm looking specifically for the count if. So you can click on it if you want. I'm going to put this back up just to show what it looks like here. How a formula works is you have to follow the template of the formula. So I, got a, I have to do a uh, open parenthesis. And then I'm going to do the range, which is the cells that the answers are in. And then the criteria, which I've typed the criteria over here already. So this is what an example would look like. So I'm going to do open parenthesis. I'm going to select the first cell of the range and drag down. So I'm clicking and holding. And I'm going to go even further. I'm going to go all the way down because if I still get some survey responses that come in, that will automatically work here in my formula. So my cell range is B, cell B2 through, and that's what the colon means, through cell B50, comma. And then I just have to click on this cell as the criteria. And so it counts that as cell E5. And I have to do a close parenthesis. So that is what a formula looks like. It's saying e, it starts with equals count if B2 through B50, comma, this criteria. I hit return. It automatically counts. I've already checked this ahead of time, and I know there is only one response of zero to two hours. Let's do the same thing here, though. Equals count if, open parenthesis, B2 colon B50. I can type that. I don't have to necessarily select. Comma, criteria, close parenthesis. So there's six of that one. Count if, B2 colon B50, comma, count this one. Just finish these up here quick. B2 colon B50. Whoops, comma. And this, the formulas have to be correct or they won't work. And it is a good idea to spot check some of these. Count if B2 colon B50, comma, criteria. There we go. So that is how many people responded for each of those different choices. So now that I have a table. I can select this table. I can click and include the, the headers here. I'm going to click and drag. Make a little box so see all this is in blue. This is all selected. Then I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on the insert chart button. This takes me into the chart editor where you can see it's already put together a little example for me. I can go to charts and choose from line, area, column, bar graph, all these different choices. I am going to do a pie graph because I think that'll best represent the data. I'm going to choose the 3D pie graph. It's already put my legend in here of my criteria. Before you click insert at the bottom though, go to customize, give your chart a title. Number of hours
letters on the computer. You can change, you can bold this, you can change the font size. I'll make it a little bigger so it stands out. So there's my title of my graph. It is a good idea to title your graph. You can change the color. If you scroll down this menu here, there's all different things you can choose. You could do 3D, which I did have on. I like that little 3D look. You can also change the numbers of your legend. So right now, zero to two hours is blue. If I wanted to change that to be kind of a gold, I could. Actually, I like blue. I'm gonna put that back to blue. So this is where you can edit your chart. And then hit insert. The chart will appear on the spreadsheet. If you click on the chart once, just a single click, it'll say chart one here at the top and you'll see the little hand up here. This only appears when you're at the top of the chart. This allows you to move it just like you were moving a window. So I'm gonna move this over out of the way. If I noticed a mistake, I could click this little menu for the chart and go back to edit chart. Uh, I could, there's some other choices here. If I had to delete the chart, I could delete it and start over so on and so forth. So that is how you make a simple pie chart using Google Spreadsheets. Thanks for watching.